Last episode, we came away with mixed results after a loss against rivals Leighton Orient sees their race for promotion get even closer. Hey, welcome back. Respect to Jeff here for Season 2, Episode 11 of this West Ham career. Guys, we're doing something different today. Uh, I'm going to play as a player for the next handful of matches, uh, just to give you guys a little bit different of a perspective on the team. So I'll pick some of the more popular players uh, and play a full 90 minutes as them. Uh, so for that, I'm going to do a 4-4-2. We're going to start out as the captain, Mark Noble. I figured uh, he would probably be... Uh, fitting to start with. Um, we, obviously we won't do this for the rest of the career, it's just something to mix it up in the middle of the season here. Uh, so every three points is going to count from here on out, and with that, we take on Accrington. Alright, here we go, the league leading scorer, Jordan Hugo, warming up, uh, and we'll be trying to feed him in plenty of balls this match. A big matchup for this team, we need to get out there and get a win, and really uh, get back to top form, because we've been struggling a little bit with consistency as of late. I think we've proven time and time again that we are for sure one of the best teams in this league, uh, but currently the standings don't show that. So we're taking the lead with the captain in charge here, Mark Noble, trying to get some play going here. A little bit static on the ball so far. It's Silva linking up with Johnson here out on the wings. Thrown in from Accrington Stanley. Gonna try to cover here and a good interception from the captain. Well done if I don't say so myself. And now Hugh Gill away. Do we have a chance shaping up here? No, giving away again. Zande Silva giving that ball away. Mark Noble trying to get back here to cover. Trying to find some space in the middle of the pitch. It's a very different game when we play this way. Receiving the ball, though. Trying to get my head up and pick out Alexander. And a ball over the top. Just mishit that. It's trying to lead Holland in through, uh, but it didn't quite come off. Hugo out wide for Silva. Trying to play a bit of a support role here. It's been difficult playing as Noble. He is obviously not the quickest. So there's a definite lack of ability to get up and down the pitch, but he's probably the most technically gifted on the team. So I'm just trying to distribute the ball and put other players in good situations. Lance Alexander cutting inside like he does so well. Couldn't quite get the shot off. And this time Silva whips a ball in. No one to it. Some good opening signs from the team, though. I'm trying to get back here to cover. Ball through to the back line. Trying to get back here. Mark Noble, not a lot of gas in the tank to make those runs. Uh, just got to kind of hover around the center of the pitch here. But this is where we'll shine. Playing a ball over the top. Perfectly placed for Zande Silva. Who cuts it back and doesn't make the most of that. Again, picking the ball up. Trying to get my head up. Good first touch. And receiving that play back. That's exactly what I'm looking to do here. Alexander gets the ball out wide. Thinking about making a run in behind. But again, Silva giving it away. He's been really, really poor. Accrington. Oh, well done to win that ball back again. Having a good game, actually. Getting my head up again. Trying to link up here. Alexander takes it wide to Silva. <sighs> Ops to go back. I think he had space ahead of him. He is just having an off game. Hasn't impressed me too much in this season overall, either. So I don't know what to do with him going forwards. Well done. Oh, Colin, how about that to win the ball back and flick it over the head of the defender. Trying to get my head up now and pick out Silva on the wings again. Hopefully it's not a mistake this time. And this time he does a lot better. Getting that ball in behind for Alexander who lofts one up for Holland. Heads it down wide of the post. Well that should have been our opening chance there. Nathan Holland with a beautiful opportunity. And he just can't quite get that on target. Hit it well. Souza puts a ball in. Oh Cardoso with a miss hit. And now the point blank opportunity is converted. Accrington in front. Well, it's not often that you see Cardoso make mistakes like that. He's probably our most reliable defender, but that's a goal. Laying it off. Getting my head up to pick out Silva on the wing. Puts another ball in. Again, looking for Holland, who can't quite convert that opportunity. Garmston headed down. Back out wide now. Top of the box. Finding Hugill in the box. A shot just wide of the post. Well, that's the kind of pass that we need to make. Trying to get a better footing here in the second half. It's out wide again. Oh, clever flick back through to Lance. Alexander crossed in. He's offsides, though. Headed down. What can we do here? Sprayed out wide. Holland. Trying to chase down here defensively. Well done by the center back to win that ball back. <laughs> I'd like to think we helped a little bit with the pressure there. 
Headed back our direction again, but away again. <laughs> Acrington picking up a lot of possession now. Oh, how about that? A third interception of the match. Winning that back and now charging forwards. A few options. Not the pace to get in behind ourselves, but Lance Alexander finding his way clean through on goal. Couldn't convert the chance. Alexander for Hugo out wide. Trying to make a run in here and pick the ball up maybe. Finds our feet. Back out wide. Garmston with it now. Not a whole lot of clear-cut opportunities in the box. That's more like it, though. Well worked. Colin cuts it back. Holland has a shot. We're playing really good stuff, actually. I'm enjoying the way uh, the AI is filling in. They're actually playing the way I like to play, uh, with a lot of quick passes. So hopefully we can find the back of the net from one of these. Noble getting his head up. Picks out Hugh Gill. How about that for an assist? <laughs> exactly what we needed, and it came down to the captain to pick out the perfect pass. And guess who finished it off? Jordan Hugh Gill time and time again. Uh, he puts in important goals for us. And with the game being as tight as it's been for the whole match, that could be the goal that rescues us a point out of a very, very tough affair here. Man of the match, number Trying to make something happen again out Mark wide. Noble. Receiving the return pass. Well done from the team. Garmson's turn. With a little back heel there. Kicking up the flare a notch here. And Alexander has his turn at goal. Not much time left now. Archie Hall gives us the ball out wide and the whistle blows. 1-1, a little disappointing, but we did well to come back and get an important goal. All right, well, we march on in the league now. Uh, coming up to our next game against Oxford United. We're going to switch up the players, do the same thing again. Uh, we won't play as Noble again, though. This time around, it's going to be Lance Alexander. Uh, I think he's a really unique player with a unique play style on the team. Uh, so we're going to use him and his strength to our advantage here against Oxford United. Alright, so this time around in charge of big Lance Alexander up top. And let's see what we can do uh, with him in charge up top alongside Jordan Hugill as usual. Let's see if we can grab a couple goals here. It's Oxford getting into the box. Booted out, not bad stuff. And another ball coming in, not a bad one either. Holland heads away as far as us. Uh, Hugo making the run, but it's a one on four back there. Just going to drop it back and try to run in behind now. Another ball over the top, Zandi Silva. Can we make ourselves available here? But it runs out of play. Headed away again. Oxford just lumping balls into the box. And we're getting back there to do some of the defensive work, laying it off. A little give and go here. Charging at the back line. Finding the outlet. The return pass may be on. A little late, maybe. No, we're on sides. What can we do here? An option ahead of us. Laying it off. Colin has the shot and finishes it with a beautiful goal. Well, we got ourselves involved early in the game here, creating that chance. And it's a good give and go in the end there with Colin. Oh, Colin again, well done. Trying to find him. Oh, we're linking up brilliantly with the center mid this match so far. Can we receive the return pass? Yes. And cutting inside, looking for another similar play. This time it doesn't find its way through, but it's a good effort. Can we get in? Again, top of the box. Taking on our man really well. Tight control. Ah, a little too much. Gave the ball away. That's poor. Mark Noble winning the ball back this time. It's outside. Oh, Colin, how about that? Drops his shoulder, beats his man. Trying to make myself available here for the pass. Doesn't matter, it's in to Hugill. And Silva with the acrobatic overhead kick. Can't find the back of the net, but that's a good chance from the team. We're definitely creating opportunity here, and that wasn't far off. Hugill lays it off. We're making the run in. Oh, again, great vision to find Holland running through. And he's clean on goal, has a shot. Not bad at all. Forces the keeper into saving that one, and it's out for a corner. How about the pass to set that move up? Not too bad. Second half here. Can we grab another goal? Solidify our lead and come away with a win. We really, really need one. Trying to do our best here to make that happen. Almost losing out of possession, but good job to hold that ball up. Win it back, send it back. And now if we can make a run through here. We got Hugo ahead of us. Ah, couldn't quite pick him out, but still retaining possession. Not bad. Up top again. 
Ah, oh, can't pick out Hugo. Saw the pass, but just couldn't complete it. It's all right, though. Through again, trying to press Oxford's back line here, but they uh, they play out from the back very well. And now it's all the way forwards with Hall, who's given us a lot of trouble in the past. Probably their most threatening player. I know I've talked about him before, but that was poor. Up top again. Oh, well done. They use the body, shield the man, and pick up the foul. And in behind. Dangerous looking cross coming in. Headed away, though. And it comes to our feet. With that, the whistle blows. 1-0, a close victory, but three important points for this team as we continue our march towards promotion. And it was us as Lance Alexander setting up that goal for Colin. All right, so with that, it's back to normal action here. We'll be playing uh, with the full 11 like usual. Let me know in the comments, though, if you liked uh, that little twist on the gameplay here. We could definitely do more of that in the future where we play as specific players from the team. Um, if you guys have any players that you'd like me to start as, let me know in the comments, and maybe for Season 3 we'll take another pass at this. So for now, though, <laughs> we take uh, the rest of training on in between matches, um, and it's straight back into cup action, guys. We've drawn Birmingham next. Uh, pretty fitting opponents for us. They are still in the championship, uh, so a notch above us. And terrible news coming in. Alaze is out for three months. Uh, that's going to be a hard one to take. Um, I mean, I guess in terms of all of our defenders, uh, he's probably my least favorite of the usual starting three. So he's, he is an important player to us, but um, we have plenty of fill for him. Uh, so Bennett will make the starting 11 for this match, but Garmston probably the one to fill in for the rest of them. And with that, let's get to Birmingham. All right, here we go. Another opportunity to impress here in a cup match. Uh, we take an away matchup against championship side Birmingham City. Both strikers and both teams in good form right now. St. Andrews Park. Let's see what we can do against the Blues. It's a team I've played with many times before in FIFA, so I know what they're all about. Picking out a good ball in behind. Well defended, though. And it's Cabrera back there to cover. Calm, as always, on the ball. He's starting to fit into this team slowly. I'm going to get him some minutes. Hugo, good turn and great strength to hold off his man. Really well done. And the striker there. Boateng over the top for Nathan Holland. Picks out Colin in the middle. And Jakubiak in behind. Clever run from the striker. Back again. Colin has a shot blocked and he's down. Ah, that was a great opportunity. Now Birmingham on the counterattack. A little bit of danger shaping up here. Big touch in behind. It's Cabrera getting out there to cover. Not the quickest Cabrera, but he does manage to close down the angle. Jakubiak pressing from the front, wins the ball back. Well done. Work rate always outstanding from the striker. He's really starting to fit into this side. I'm really starting to think seriously about signing him on a permanent transfer next season if we can get a hold of him. And that pass from Holland. Gone missing, but it's back to the feet of Boateng. Jakubiak, Colin. Defending really well here, Birmingham. Not a lot of options in the box for us. Twisting and turning. Still looking for an opening. Inside, cut out. Holland. Trying to get that one through. He does so for Hugo. Jakubiak, great pass. Poor touch by Hugo, though. And it's out now. Sliding in, Boateng doesn't get the ball. Might be called back for a yellow card. That's a poor one. He's always got a rash challenge in him the center mid, uh, but he does his duty defensively, that's for sure. Birmingham playing a beautiful ball in behind. Stays in play, Bennett stays on his toes and keeps that ball out. Laying it off, Hugo. Ooh, close pass. That was not far off at all. Davis. Cabrera trying to close down. Oh, wrong side of his man. Shot at goal. Martin, strong wrists to see that one out. And it's called back for a yellow on Boateng. Second half been pretty dull so far here. Birmingham not able to get that cross in. And it's here on Boateng. Out wide with Kemp. Plays it back in the middle for Archie Hall. And running through, it's Cabrera getting all the way forwards. He's got a little sense of adventure in him. The center back, we know he can fill in at center mid too. Great technically, I'm not sure where his future lies, but Hugo, step overs, and the shot! How about that for a goal? That's maybe the goal of the season. An absolutely stunning sequence from our striker, Jordan Hugo. 
Oh, he seems to continually outdo himself with every passing goal, and that was genuinely created from nothing. He had no right to beat his man there, and that was a great finish at the end of it too. Just took the center back on one-on-one -on -one and slots it home. Pull over the top. Early cross coming in. Way wide. All the way on the left wing now. Whoosh, cleared away, but just barely. Archie Hall can't quite recover. Back to the top of the box. Davis plays it in. The shot at the near post. Birmingham draw level 1-1. And if I'm being completely honest here, that was on Cobrera. He got caught sleeping. Let his man run inside. Couldn't close the angle down. And he's still got a lot of growing to do, although I think he'll be a great player. Forwards now, Jakubiak. Finds Hugo. Oh, quick turn. Hugo is in rare form tonight. Dancing into the box. This time it is cleared out by the center back. 72 minutes into the match now. Can we go on to grab what might be the final goal of the game here? Getting the sense that whoever scores next might win this game. And Jakubiak slams that one into the top left corner. Beautiful strike. And wow, we have a lot of competition between strikers here. Jakubiak, Hugo, and Alexander. Although, uh, unfortunately, our young academy player is out injured. Uh, but Jakubiak is more than happy to fill the role. Look at that. Bela again. Cabrera trying to close down here. Bennett clearing it away. Headed back down, though. Kemp losing out on the header. It's coming back in. A lot of threatening balls. Into our box. Martin punches away. Cabrera with the acrobatic clearance. And Kemp centers it with Huron Boateng now. Now Birmingham headed back in our direction. We just got to hang on here. Dangerous ball in behind. Laid off. It's offsides, though. Headed back down again. Booted out, and the whistle blows. We do hang on, and we're going to the next round of the FA Cup. We just keep marching on. Great stuff once again from this team. And a really good showing from some of our fringe players, too. We got a lot of depth in this squad. All right, well... We get our heads back down for league action. It's Portsmouth first place. Portsmouth up next. That's going to be a tough matchup for us. Uh, but those are the kind of games that make or break a season. And we got to show that we are capable of it. Um, so let's quickly check who... No way. Guys, round six of the FA Cup. We're taking on Hull City. Who would have thought? Uh, it just had to be. It's fate. We're taking on our old club in round six of the FA Cup. A lot of big names left in the competition. Um, and of course, we have to draw our former side. This is going to be a thrilling match. Well, we've been keeping tabs on them a little bit. Uh, we know they struggled really, really bad last season in the Premier League. They're down in the championship now and uh, do look to get promoted again. I think they've been much better this season. Um, so I hope next episode, uh, depending on how many games we have in between, uh, we might be taking on the Tigers, but it'll come soon. Uh, soon enough in the future and I'm really excited for that matchup so stay tuned because it is coming and guys as always if you've been enjoying this series please subscribe to the channel it helps out a lot and I'll be back very soon with an exciting couple of episodes to end off season two before we kick off our third campaign and hopefully it will be in the championship uh, so with that I'll be back soon with next episode and until then I'm Respect the Jeff and I'll see you next time